It was time for Kanto to drown in the sweet sound <laughs> of Alan and Matt playing the Pokemon. What are you doing? Episode the four. Uh, wait, no, it's the old man time. All right, welcome back, guys. Uh, the old man is gonna teach us now how to catch Pokemon. Yeah, he's kind of a Weedle. Um, um, sometimes he doesn't catch the Weedle. Lies. In the original game, sometimes he just straight up does not catch. So it's not a scripted event as much as not. Okay. Yeah. And right, he wait, actually wait. has specific text dialogue if he doesn't catch it. He goes like, Oh no, I didn't catch Pokemon. Well, didn't know that. Um, nice trivia. And, like we were saying, uh, old man, you saw us after we had just beaten Gary, finally. And oh, we are now God. on our way into Viridian Hell. Oh, uh, welcome to the Forest of Hell, may it forever be in your favor. Um, nothing is going to get out of there. The TG TV, that is a noob item. It's so useless. I it's have watched all of them though, because how really curious I was, so I was curious about it. Jim, first gym, let's go. No. This is the Viridian City Gym. We have to defeat all eight gyms, so we might as well start here. Yep. Closest gym in the game. So it's clear that this is the one we had to start at. Oh, uh, wait, no, it's locked. Doors are locked. Alright. Oh, no, got it back around. Sorry for speeding up, but I need to talk to this old guy. Alright, yeah, sorry about that. The music's highly annoying when we do that. Oh, we can't go no. do it from that side. It automatically makes us jump down. What a, what a douche. Yeah, from now on, we'll avoid using the speed up, though. Yes, we will. This Pokemon gym is always closed. I wonder who the leader is. Probably some jackass. Not, not an important plot point. Actually, probably our father. Yeah. Yeah? Probably. We never see our father throughout the game. No, and you know, we're Probably so weird, because our so mother's an idiot. Our mother's so dumb. So that's a different story. Um, okay. alright. So we're about to enter Why our first... Why do avoid the grass? Just curious. Because it's very easy to. It doesn't it pretty much waste no time. Okay. Are we gonna go for a Pikachu in this? Do you want to? I kinda want a Pikachu in our... I kinda want a Raichu in our team, but that would replace our Mankey. For, uh, straight power. Not for type coverage though. Mankey's a very coverage. fast Pokemon too. I like so these. Confusing. I like these little pictures. Yes, it's actually yeah. very cool. Um, I first, think they added it. First dungeon in the game. <laughs> Brilliant Forest, basically. Um, Catch some bug Pokemon. Yay! Bug Pokemon are useless in Gen One, so uh, don't get them. Such an understatement. Uh, there's a item over here, up top. Yeah, it's up top. Uh, you're gonna see it to your left. I believe it's an antidote. You'll actually find a lot of them in here because of all the poison. Wait, before we do, I believe show up in front. Yeah, I'm gonna switch axe okay. to up front I'm down. so I can get him some levels. Okay. Found a Pokeball? No, it's a Pokeball. I know there's an antidote somewhere in here. There is an antidote. There's like two. Yeah. Uh, I say Weedle. Do we? Weedle's one of the two generic bug Pokemon. Weedle is more common. I believe Weedle is the more common one. Yeah. And, then and Caterpie is the more common, common one. Than Caterpie evolves into a bug psychic type. No, bug flying type. Right. Named Butterbree. It can learn psychic moves though. Weedle evolves into Beedrill, which is a bug poison type. Not nice low kick right to his nothing. Yeah. I I couldn't remember how fighting affects bug. It's not, poison. I guess not. Right, it's poison. Mm -hmm. Why did you slow kick again? Don't because know. I could. That's why. I wish you to get poisoned. Weedle. There it is. First poison sting of the game. <laughs> that was the first, first one of the game. poison sting um, of the game. Well, welcome to Pokemon. Scratch. You will. You got double poison. Double poison. <laughs> second poison sting of the game. Uh. So I like about Generation Five to cut out poison sting. Poison damage from while you're walking. Did it? Yeah, it's not a thing. Why not? Because. Uh, don't press. Don't Newer players are dumb. <gasps> <laughs> well, okay. hey, I guess that completely defeated the pro. I was ready to pause and start looking for it. Um, oh, let's do this. Okay, scratch. See how much it does. I. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be one of those games. Got man. it, guys. It's gonna be one of those games. Uh, problem. If you don't catch him with uh axe, we're gonna die because of thunder shock. So yeah. We have no potions. Okay, Pokeball, go. Dear Lord, please. One, two, 
three. Yes. Boom. Hi, bud. Yeah. That's what I'm okay. talking about. Okay. If you don't know, there, I believe it's like a five percent chance of running into a Pikachu uh, in the Viridian Forest. I will look that up later for you guys if you're curious. Uh, comment, leave, whatever stuff. Yep. Pokemon Yellow. You can. Uh, there's also a rare chance of you finding a Pidgeotto as well. Really? Lower well, level Pidgeotto, of course. But. All right. So you can nickname the Pikachu. Okay. We're gonna name it. I'm gonna name it after Red's Pikachu from the manga. Okay. Just name it Pika. Ah, uh, you at least use a lowercase for me. Yes, I can. I can do that for you. I appreciate it, bitch. <laughs> it just looks so much nicer. In uh, Gen 2, I used to name my uh, all my guys like that, and... Okay, can you cut this here? Oh, yeah. Actually, uh, we're gonna pause for a second and run heal. Uh, it's kind of a waste of time, so give us one sec. And we're back. Woo! So, Unpause my game. All right, all right. Chill your button. All right, all right, all right. Okay. So I, while we were gone, I actually took the time, what we did, to level up Pika to level 7. Because we can do that. Yep. Because an emulator is easy to do. There's an item right there, so we're going to go get it. Uh, so potions. Items. Another potion. I feel like I've yet to be right about anything in this game so yeah. far. It's kind of sad. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. We're being attacked. Yeah. Metapod. Oh, yay. No, not the Metapod. Oh. Metapod, if you run into these, you gotta run away now, because they are the most gruesome, most terrifying yeah. Pokemon. They have a move called Harden. Now, if you let D Metapod do Harden enough, it's a total of 57 times exactly, <laughs> you don't want to know what's gonna happen. Like, best advice is get rid of it quickly. If you can. Like, I don't even know how I'm doing this. Personally. <laughs> Oh my god. You know, I kind of feel like one of these days we're gonna let's play with like nine people. <laughs> it's just gonna be a joke. But, you know, that's just hopes. I stopped taking this seriously after part one. <laughs> Wait, we took it seriously. So, um, alright, so. First, Bug Trainer. trainer I'm gonna battle. take a guess here. A Weedle? And that's it. I think he's a Caterpie trainer, actually. Hmm. I think his first Pokemon's a Caterpie, actually, okay. and then he throws out the wheel. No. No, I'm wrong! I'm wrong. I concede defeat. Yeah. Alright. Thundershock. Right up to head. String Shot is a speed lowering move. I hate that move because its animation is so goddamn long. It's ironic. <laughs> string, <laughs> string Shot is so slow, it makes you slow. Um, alright. Poison Sling. Poison Sting, probably gonna poison me. No, no, we're good. We're thank good. god, okay. All right. Honestly, we should have probably picked up some antidotes, but we aren't really preemptive thinking here, like thinking, unless it comes to like catching Pokemon. Now he goes up to Caterpie. Alright, so now it comes to Caterpie. Here's the thing about this Pokemon it is the most useless bug Pokemon you will find in the entire game. At least Weedle will poison something. This guy spits on you to make you slower, and then tackles you and beats it with your head. So, Caterpie has a higher defense than Weedle, but that is not enough to... Nope. It's useless. Personally, though, I still do prefer Butterfree over... Really? Yeah, I have had a Butterfree for the end of the game. I've had a Beedrill uh, in red, and kind of an OP Pokemon. Uh, oh, we learned Thunder Wave. Oh, well, we're set for the game. Yeah. Thunder Wave is a move that, it's not an attack move, but it will paralyze Pokemon, the, the opposing Pokemon, which is a very helpful status effect, or a very gruesome status effect, depending on who it's done to. Fair enough. Alright, well we are reaching our 10 minute mark, so we are going to beat this trainer and then head out. Aha! Surprised you! How was I even surprised? Um, alright. Alright, and you have three, three categories. No. I don't Aha! I was right, I because I totally said that it would be a wheel. Yep. Sure. Switch. 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 Fuck. And he does. And when we come back, we chilling conclusions of what happens to this 